Oh my god, mites. They are everywhere. They cover the queens and can be found throughout my setup. Watch this video until the end to see how I deal with these mite infestations. But first, welcome to a new video on the Aesthetic Ants channel. I'm glad you are here. Have you considered subscribing? Alright, let's get into the video. The colony you are seeing here is Lepisota Fraunfeldi. This colony was caught from the wild in Greece and it was originally for selling purposes. But since it is quite rare and to be kept in the ant keeping hobby, I felt like it was my duty to document these European crazy ants. In the last video where I showed you the colony, I also unboxed and assembled a Wakushi Sadder nest. This nest is awesome and appeared to be perfect for this colony. I put the test tube with ants inside and waited until they moved. It did not take long for the colony to occupy two test tubes. As you can see, the two test tubes were quite full and I gave them a third one as well. These ants love sugars and they also love insects. Look at them dragging this cricket inside. They are really crazy and a lovely species to have in my collection. So I did not plan on this video and I did not shoot much footage in between. However, I did decorate the outworld. Let me show you. Red sand and 3D printed rocks. A perfect way of decorating this outworld. On YouTube I've seen tons of people use red sand in their setups and I really wanted a tank filled with red sand as well. As a centerpiece I put on a beautiful driftwood branch. Ah, I really love the look of these. And then it happened. Mites. Mites everywhere. It looked like every queen had them. And they were filled with them. After consulting my discord server I knew what to do and one day later the doorbell rang. I received a package and opened it. A weird tap, but you can already see a creature crawling on the lid. I got predatory mites. For the people new to this. Predatory mites are mice that basically hunt other mites. The mites I got are called duchies and are part of the Lelapida family. They are bred and used on a large scale, mostly for livestock such as chickens. It might take a while but according to experienced users the predators always win and kill most of the mites. Now this is on large animals. With ants it's a different story. Not only are there different types of mites, ants are also small. I've seen Lepisota work as care of these mites before. As you can see in the footage I dumped a lot of the soil into the outworld. It was filled with these mites. They might be very hard to spot, but there are definitely plenty of them if you look close enough. According to others it can take weeks before the mites go away. So I waited. Weeks. Sadly by today's recording the queens are still covered with mites and the judges did not help. The colony itself is also not great looking. There are a lot of dead workers and their numbers have shrunk a little. You'd think this is because of the mites but it's not. Workers have a short lifespan which explains the death. Weirdly enough the queens have mites, the workers have none. I can't spot a single mite on a worker. If you see one during this video, please let me know. If you guys have any idea how to get rid of these mites, please inform me in the comments. Quite frankly, I really like this colony and I would love to keep them more. Your help will be appreciated. Ok, that brings us to the end of this video. No happy ending sadly, but hopefully the colony will recover soon and make a comeback. Let's just hope for the best. Thank you for watching, until the next one.